the future of autonomous vehicles has been, well, in the future for quite a while, but it may be sooner than we expect. For Tech Republicans, my name is Dan Patterson with Infosys President and COO Ravi Kumar. Uh, Udacity and Infosys have teamed up on a Connect service uh, that offers training for autonomous vehicles as well as other services for B2B providers of autonomous vehicles. Ravi, thank you very much for your time today. I wonder if you could uh, help me understand the technology, uh, no pun intended, driving uh, the Infosys and Udacity partnership. So thank you for your time today. Uh, this is a, a very interesting partnership. Um, as um, some of you would know, Infosys is a global technology consulting firm. So we invest into future capabilities and skills in technology. We did believe that uh, autonomous technologies, which is um, going to be an emerging technology of the future, is something we want to invest jointly with Udacity. So Udacity and Infosys came together to establish a plan to get 500 engineers on autonomous technologies. Uh, autonomous technologies as much as everybody thinks is only going to be used in the automotive sector for driverless cars and automating the experience of a driver uh, has wide variety of uses across industries. Uh, it, uh, it has potentially usage in the manufacturing shop floor, the mining industry, the farming industry, wherever you have motion of uh, equipment or objects, uh, you could potentially do it. So our endeavor is to create 500 engineers who could apply this technology to various industries. Of course, the autonomous, uh, autonomous cars and autonomous vehicles being the, being the most important one. Uh, these engineers don't exist today. So our endeavor with Udacity is to build these engineers grounds up. Um, the core constituents required to build, build this capability is computer vision, uh, sensor fusion, embedded technologies, C and Python programming, and, and in some ways, Internet of Things. So we are bringing a confluence of all these capabilities to build uh, autonomous uh, technology engineers. And we are hoping that we could rapidly prototype with our clients in these industries to establish, um, establish and embrace these technologies in those industries. And in what way will you be training? Are you looking for engineers who already have proficiencies in other sectors and other verticals and uh, providing new training? Or is this education that will uh, foster and grow engineers that have proficiencies for this or a little bit of both? Yeah, so, you know, um, as I said, um, the core constituents are C and Python programming, sensor fusion, computer vision, embedded technologies, and Internet of Things. So anybody who has any of these capabilities potentially can be transitioned or repurposed into autonomous technologies. So as a firm, Infosys strongly believes in hiring from schools and colleges and repurposing and refactoring talent from some of these areas. So what we want to do essentially is we're going to look for talent inside the firm with some of these capabilities. We're going to look for talent outside the company with uh, some of the core capabilities I mentioned and, uh, and repurpose them for, uh, for autonomous technologies. So we're going to go through a learning of uh, classrooms, academics, and experiential learning. So it's a, it's a very intense uh, intervention. And, uh, and we're going to create a, create a mechanism where uh, these, these individuals who go through this process are also having a set of uh, live prototypes to work on and live proof of concepts to work on. Um, so that's, uh, that's the goal. So internally within Infosys, we ran a hackathon to select the first cohort of 100, 100 engineers. And uh, the ones which had these core capabilities, we, we took them through a process of... Uh, hackathon so that we, we select the right people. So within the company, we have almost 5,000 engineers. So applied at 100 of them. So at least five such cohorts, capabilities. You know, as much as you can uh, imagine, these capabilities, the core capabilities exist. However, uh, autonomous engineers don't exist in the market today as much as uh, we want to. 
Um, I, I'm sure that you are aware of the narrative that exists in traditional media uh, that, uh, or, or at least the fear that may exist that, oh, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and autonomous technologies are going to wipe out jobs. I, I can understand where some of those fears may come from, but can you provide some examples of how autonomous technologies not just will help create new jobs, but entire new uh, sectors and industries within those sectors? That's a great question, actually. You know, this is a very pertinent question for uh, autonomous technologies, artificial intelligence, and automation. And my personal belief is all these technologies of the future will take away jobs of the past, but will create more jobs of the future. So in many ways, as long as you reskill and repurpose talent, uh, you could actually create much more than what you have. So autonomous technologies, therefore, will take away jobs of the past, but will create jobs of the future. Uh, not only are these technologies used in the automotive sector, as I said, it, they could be used in mining, they could be used in farming, they could be used in the manufacturing sector to make the, make the shop floor, as an example, much more efficient and much more, uh, much more effective uh, and therefore uh, create more, uh, uh, you know, uh, more momentum. So, so um, as long as governments, companies like Infosys, and individuals focus on reskilling and repurposing, uh, this is not gonna be a bad thing because it's anything which, any technology which improves productivity uh, has always always created more jobs, more consumption uh, and more embrace. Um, the, the key is reskilling and, and uh, refactoring talent. Infosys President and COO Ravi Kumar. Uh, Ravi, I wonder if you could leave us with a forecast on, on how autonomous technologies will evolve over the next, uh, say, 18 to 36 months. You know, this is a fascinating technology. It is a confluence, as I said, of uh, the physical and the digital worlds. Um, it's, a, it's a confluence of, uh, of uh, structured and unstructured data. It's a confluence of sensors, uh, and embedded technology. So it's a very, very fascinating space. Uh, my personal belief is um, this will continue to be embraced uh, significantly in the automotive sector to start with, but every other industry is actually going to, actually going to rapidly prototype and create more use cases of the leverage of this technology to make themselves much more productive. So this will span across a broad set of industries. Uh, which will drive safety of employees, safety of individuals, higher productivity, and um, and higher efficiencies. So, so this is uh, this is going to be a game-changing technology for many industries, many broadband industries, starting with automotive.